happen else. Hit me on, babe. I didn't realize we were. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm about to cut myself with this. She did. That was going to be so awful. Oh my God. Oh my God. This one, like 30 bucks or something. 35. Use your words. More like 40. And Jason with Time to Shrink. We are here for our third, is it our third, third episode? week three. Our third episode of our Keto Cocktail Series, Keto Speak Easy. And today we are going to do all the berries, all kinds of fun drinks with different berries and some Moscow mules. And I'm going to be using a lot of vodka and ginger beers, which aren't typically my thing. So I had a friend come over. This is Marie. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to make her be a guinea pig and try all these drinks out and let us know what she thinks. She's really good at drinking. <laughs> Just like Jason. Yes. Only the best. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're going to start out with my very favorite. This is the Your very favorite. This is the one you were like least excited about. I know, y'all. I thought I didn't she like it now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I thought I didn't like Moscow Mules and then I created this one. It's so good. Okay, so we need four strawberries and three mint leaves. That's three strawberries. Oh, but they're big. There you, there you go. Well, we're gonna put the extra one on top, right? I have one for top right All there. Right. There are the mint leaves, not there. There, yeah. right there. Come on now, get it together. <laughs> All right. There are mint leaves right, right there. Right here, also right there too. An there. ounce of lime and two ounces of vodka. An ounce of lime, now two ounces of vodka. And you're using the good stuff in this one. This is the good stuff. We so tried to use some of the yeah. We tried to use some of the cheap yeah, stuff, okay. and it matters to me. I didn't like it, so. All right, so you're going to muddle that. I don't know why I'm sitting here telling him how to do it. He's the one that always makes the cocktails. I just drink them. All right, ice. Mm -hmm. Shake it up, and then we're going to put some ice in there. Sure. Yeah, just that. Okay. Strain over your ice. Now, ginger beer, you do like four ounces. Now, the Glad deal is you have to find a diet ginger beer that you like. Jason got these two uh, Barrett's sugar-free ginger beer and Gosling's diet ginger beer just at the regular grocery store. Or um, where did you get these? Got those at Greenwise. The liquor no Greenwise. So the grocery store. And then this Zevia mixer ginger beer. I bought those on Amazon. You can get them at Whole Foods. I really like how this one tastes. I haven't tried those. All right, you get to taste first. Okay. You do like a Moscow Mule. Yes, I do. Yeah. yeah. You should know this. Yes, I, this is why she's here, because I know yeah. she likes Moscow Mules. That's really good, isn't it? It's so good. It's refreshing, isn't yes, it? Yes, I was shocked. Refreshing. Mm -hmm. I was shocked how so much good. I like this one. Yes. I'm proud of myself, y'all. I'm getting you good be. at making cocktails. I'm getting good at it. All right, so we're going to drink on this for a bit, and then we'll make a second one. <laughs> Of course we had to make a second one of this because like I said, it's one of my favorites and we just needed our own. Um, so but, we, yeah, go ahead, tell but me. we decided to use a different ginger beer this time. The first time we used this Zevia, you've seen us use this before, the Zevia mixer. But on the second one, we used this Gosling's Diet ginger beer. I mean, this is way by better. far, yeah. it's by way, far. Way more gingery, right? Yeah. yeah, you taste the ginger mm -hmm. a lot more. This one is a little more artificial taste. Yeah, it is, the aftertaste. Yeah, that yeah, where this one doesn't have that aftertaste. Mm -hmm. And these are really expensive. I don't know how much this was. Yeah, that's seven ninety nine for a six pack. So they're both pretty expensive, yeah. but yeah. this one's definitely better. All right, y'all, before we move on to the next drink, I wanted to say thank you so much for everybody helping me get to 15,000 subscribers. You know, I love to do giveaways when I hit little milestones and that was an exciting one for me. So I have a huge giveaway. Lots of my favorite keto goodies and some fashion type things, some makeup type things, some really cute notepads, just a bunch of different stuff. It's a huge box of it's, stuff. It's a lot of stuff. Our, our younger two even commented, and they're like, mom, this is like a million subscribers giveaway. Yeah. Not a <laughs> My sweet kids, they were like, you're you a baby YouTuber. Much. Don't be giving away this much stuff, mom. You should, people that have 500,000 don't give that much away. But y'all know I love you. I wouldn't be doing this without y'all. And so whenever I can, I like to give back. So we're doing a giveaway. If you would like, to be entered in the giveaway, all you have to do is put a drink emoji down in the comment section. Just throw me your favorite drink emoji and you are entered. You also can go enter over on Instagram if you want. I'll put up a thing over there as well so you can enter twice that way. Yeah. So put your favorite drink emoji
emoji down below. And if you have a drink you want us to create, favorite cocktail that you would like us to make, put that down there too, because we're really having fun with these episodes and we have a keto cocktail cookbook coming out for y'all later this summer. So give us ideas, give us things give to us work on. Ideas. All right, so the next thing we're gonna make is a blackberry dark and stormy. So Jason, blackberry dark and stormy. Blackberry please. dark and stormy. So a dark and stormy has rum, right? I didn't write that down. Rum, is that right? Yeah. yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. rum, the brown rum, the dark rum. I have it back here somewhere. My favorite. You wanna use a dark <laughs> rum for the, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <coughs> that one's Helping for me. himself out there. Okay. okay. I so, love the rum. Now you're gonna do one lime wedge and four blackberries I'll right in blackberries. there. Y'all, this makes the prettiest color. It's such a pretty drink, y'all. While we were making this drink, we tried a few different variations. And one of the things that we're gonna to add to it right that. now is some peppercorns. And the peppercorns make such a difference in this, but you wanna make yeah, sure you really strain does. it well. You don't really want does. pepper in your drink. Let's we'll go with four peppercorns. How many of these? Okay. Yeah. So whole peppercorns, just throw it and in there with the They'll model, model fine. With your mug when you're doing it, but don't you, be fine. Ice into our shaker. <clears throat> now I'm using the a different shaker here just for easier straining purposes. Okay. Why? Because you got to really strain that pepper out, okay. and I have this extra. Ooh, that is pretty. The Isn't that a pretty gorgeous. color? It's yeah. so pretty. It takes a minute because you really need a, a strainer with pretty small holes because you don't want to put the peppercorn in your drink. Okay? Yep, that's it. Good? That's okay, now you put your ginger beer over the top. Ginger beer over the top. What so, are you going to garnish this with? A blackberry, yeah. All right, there we go. There that we is go. All black right, Marie, you taste stormy. and see what you think. Okay? Do you like a dark and stormy? Have you ever had one before? No, I haven't. That's really good. And I'm not a brown liquor drinker, so it's really good. I really like this one. And you really can probably do it with white rum if you want it, right? Mm -hmm. If you like the flavor yes. better. I mean, but it's still so super white. refreshing. Mm -hmm. It's not, sometimes you think brown liquor is very heavy. Yeah. yeah. And it's, all right. So Dark and Stormy is not my favorite drink. I think that we created something good. And I think if you like a Dark and Stormy, mm -hmm. you would really enjoy this. Mm -hmm. I definitely like this better. Me too. To you. The, I like, this is good. This is the very pepper, different. The pepper is a must for it. But though. yes, when we made it without the peppercorn, it was just flat. It was really flat. This was way better. Trust me. Okay. So what are we doing next? What's up next? What is up? All right, y'all. The next drink that we're going to make is a vodka drink. It is called a Wait, blue... Wait, next drink? This is usually the last drink. Are we making more than three this time? Yeah, I think yes. we're four. Oh, look at us. Yeah. <laughs> Expanding our horizons. <laughs> anyway, right. it's a blueberry vodka lemonade, but I found something that a lot of like cocktail people are doing these days and they're making these things called shrubs and with any kind of fruit that you want. And this is like the base of the drink. So how you make a shrub is it's one part sugar to one part fruit to one part vinegar. So I do one cup of allulose, one cup of blueberries, and then you let it sit for like three days on the counter with just like a paper towel over it. So it kind of ferments and it makes it all the juices. Then you add, after about three days, you add your vinegar to it and put it in the fridge, let it sit for a few more days, and then you strain it. And this is the only one I've ever tried. I haven't made it with any other fruits yet, but it's kind of fun to ferment things. So we're gonna use this, and we're gonna make a blueberry shrub lemonade, basically. So, you have your stuff. Shaker. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're gonna take, this stuff is pretty potent, so oh, yeah. only half an ounce of it. And if you want, didn't want to do the shrub, you could make this with just muddling some blueberry if you wanted to. And you probably wouldn't need well, quite as much of the sweet factor. You would need the vinegar though. The vinegar really, it, it adds something to the drink, I think. Okay, so two ounces of vodka, two basil leaves, two basil leaves right? and then an ounce of simple syrup. This is our favorite simple syrup. It's called Swoon Zero Sugar Simple Syrup. It has the mouthfeel of a simple syrup. We have tried the Jordan Skinny Syrup as well, and it is sweet, but it doesn't have like the mouthfeel of a normal simple syrup like this one does. So you're gonna use an ounce of this after you muddle that. An ounce. We found you really need the ounce to combat the vinegar. You can and even do up to an ounce and a half. Yeah. Depends on what you like. Yeah, if you like a little bit more vinegary, 
then do just an ounce. If you want it as sweet as possible, you can do like an ounce and a half of simple syrup. I like the vinegar. It gives it a really distinct. It's interesting. All right, so now we're gonna do a half ounce of this. Yep. No, an one ounce. ounce. An ounce of that. Do an ounce. Mm -hmm. An ounce of lemon juice. And right. then you're gonna shake it up with some ice. And then we put it in this, I don't know the names of cups, y'all, but isn't this pretty? We put some blueberries and some ice and some lemon. And this is another drink that has a really pretty color. Lindsay, what's the name of this cup? Just a pint glass. Oh. It's a pint glass. She's in a Pilsner. I'm serious. It is, yeah. It's a Pilsner glass. A Pilsner glass. There you go. He was wrong and I was right. Makes you feel good, doesn't it? <laughs> it happens quite frequently. It does. But isn't that pretty? It's such exciting. a pretty color. And then you're gonna top it off with some kind of sparkling beverage. We tried it with like a, just a sparkling water, like a lemon flavored sparkling water. And then we also tried it with this sparkling ice. This sparkling ice has sweetener in it. So this is lemonade. Oh, uh, what did I call it? No, sparkling, sparkling ice. Uh, it ice is lemonade. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Classic it's, lemonade. It's lemonade. It's a lemonade. Yeah, so, lemonade but it's sweetened with sucralose, I think. So it's a little sweeter. So we found we liked it better with this than just the standard sparkling. And then I always put a straw in this one because the vinegar, if you're like just putting your nose in it, you definitely smell the vinegar where if mm -hmm. you're having it with the straw, it's just better. I don't know. It makes like, I feel like I'm talking down on this drink, but it is really interesting. It, it's, it's worth making. Drink. It really is. Mm -hmm. And you can use the shrub in a lot of different ways. I mean, it's different. I like it a lot. It's pretty it taste vinegar. like a lemonade? Yeah, but I like vinegar, I like yeah. lemonade, I like sour tart yeah. things. Yeah, it has the sour tartness. Mm -hmm. And if oh, you wanted good. it to like bite, that. me too. If you wanted it to be super sweet, you could add more. Tart. But I yeah, like tart, I, like I do too. Right. I like the tart. And I also, like I said earlier, I'm not really a vodka girl. And I like this I because I think like. you don't even taste, yeah, you, don't you don't taste, taste the vodka, vodka at all. Like it's, not that it's, I ever not taste the vodka. Yeah. <laughs> you don't taste it that. Yeah, I don't taste it in this. I think this is pretty tasty yeah. and it's so pretty. I love a pretty drink, y'all. All right, y'all, we're gonna make one more mule, but this is gonna be a bourbon based mule. So it's a blackberry bourbon mule. I'm a bourbon girl. I love Basil Hayden. This is, this is the one I recommend because it's not expensive, but it's still smooth. Like bourbons that like cheaper bourbons can really have like not the best bite, but this one is only, how much is this? All okay, right, this one's like $40, but I mean, you can spend a lot more Woodford. than that on, on bourbon. Yeah. Yeah, Woodford's about the same. Anyways, I, I just feel like, like I feel like this one's smooth a good bourbon for the too. price. Yeah. yeah, either of those I would say. Mint leaves, like four mint four. leaves or so, and mm -hmm. four blackberries. These are really big, but yeah. go for it. We're gonna strain it, so. Yeah. Okay, and then you're gonna add some lime juice, half an ounce of lime juice to that, and two ounces of bourbon. Two ounce muddle, and then two ounces of bourbon. Yeah. My lovely assistant Marie. Yeah. Jason and I work together, and he seems to think that I am his assistant in all things, but really I'm not. <laughs> this is very helpful, though. Thank you. Sometimes I try to be helpful, mostly because I really like your work. When yeah. Jason doesn't behave at work, when Jason and I work together, I just text Erica. Yep. Mm -hmm. After you strain this, you add ginger, you top it with ginger beer. So there's already ice in there. I'm We're gonna need a little more ice. ice probably, yeah. Preferably, you would just probably use crushed ice, but my ice maker is on the fritz. All right, what are we garnishing this one with? A lime. Float a little black. You love a, you love the floated black. I do. You love, mm -hmm. it. you love it. All right. All right. Try. It. Okay. You're not. Are you not a bourbon person? I'm not, but I'll try okay. it. It's still like I can taste the bourbon, but it's not overwhelming. Yeah. You're right, this is very smooth. Yeah, it's, it definitely has a lot of the ginger beer flavor. Mm -hmm. So if you're more of a bourbon person, you might wanna try this mule. It, otherwise, the strawberry, now I'm a bourbon girl, but I still think the strawberry is my favorite for sure. It's so good. Is it good? Yeah. 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 Yeah, so that's the four drinks that we are making tonight, y'all. And we will be back next Friday to make, I don't know what we're making next Friday. The classics, I think. The classics. Oh, yeah. We're doing like the 1920s, like gin fizz and French 75 and that kind of stuff. Yeah. I love gin. Yeah. Yeah. We might have to have Marie back to try those, too.
All right, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Thanks, Marie, for coming. No problem. It's way more fun having Marie here with me than just Jason. It is. <laughs> I hate to say it. I bring the fun. You Absolutely. Do. All right, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with us. We will see you again next Friday for our next episode. Bye, y'all. Be blessed.